I came up here to check things out before Riverside, Iowa Paranormal comes in this coming Saturday. And I wasn't thinking to run a camera. Shame on me. I just heard a loud thump over there. If there's somebody with me, can you do that again? Can you bang on whatever it is that you knocked on? Lots of dust. All right, I need to go. That was me. Keep recording. So this is the attic. Oh, warm up there. So this is me, in case you're curious. Spooky. All right, that ball didn't move from earlier. So maybe a child would move the ball or something or kick it. This is the old Benton County Jail. We have Riverside Iowa Port Paranormal coming in this weekend. Just giving a check, a once over, just to make sure everything's okay. I need some more. Um, waiver forms but I thought I'd do a quick walk through so the jail was built in 1876 ouch ran into the wall the front part is the sheriff's office and the residence so business in front party in the back the jail so it is the mullet of jails Go downstairs before we go into the cells. So this is the dungeon, or this is the basement, but we also call it the dungeon. Actually, people have been calling it the dungeon long before I did. This is the records room. This part of the jail, I've heard noises, a breath in my ear, been touched. Saw a black mass move down this hallway. This is the dungeon or the old evidence room. Still some evidence in there. This is what they called the true part of the dungeon. And we got confirmation this past summer that even up into the 90s, they were chaining people up along the wall down here. Actually, in 64, a former sheriff at that time said when he was sheriff, they would chain people to the wall until they went crazy or confessed. But, like I said, we confirmed that was still happening. They said they didn't do any kind of like go crazy or confess kind of chain up. They just didn't have room. So sometimes they would chain people up down here, which if you're the one you've been chained up, that'd really suck. There's eight of these little cells down here. As you can see, there's pipes in there. They... You know, as plumbing started becoming more of an indoor common thing, they ran plumbing through these cell doors, etc. Not doors, walls. There is traffic outside. It is a residential area, so if you hear things outside, I'm not going to claim paranormal. Oh, actually, we had a really good... Actually, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Save it for the group on Saturday to see if they pick up on anything in this area. 
let's just say that somebody did a Ouija board session. It spelled out the type of weapon someone said they used, and we found that same weapon in the general area. This is the main cells. This were, these were in use until about 1997. Somewhere in the 90s, they actually, 80s or 90s, they closed up the upstairs and they were trying to save the jail for continued use. They had actually um, ran conduit through the cells upstairs trying to improve things. I'm being real quiet as I talk because I keep hearing stuff behind me. That's outside. Anyway, there were lawsuits because the conditions were so horrible. This is one of the cells. This is actually the cell that Jacob Nelling was broken out of in 1883 and lynched. He brutally murdered a 14-year-old girl from the community, or 15, 14 or 15. Stabbed her to death, choked her, and the newspaper said ravaged her. Her great nephew, we've interviewed, the family said she had been raped. So anyway, like I said, Riverside, Iowa Paranormal is going to be here this weekend. I am looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been in the jail. Well, in this jail. Well, actually, let me rephrase that. Since I've been in any jail. Let me rephrase that. I've never been to jail. I've been in the backseat of a cop car, and that's as close as I've come, other than voluntarily coming into this jail. So anyway, I'm going to shut down. This is Dwight, my haunted fowler. Hopefully we'll be able to go live sometime this weekend, too. I know Riverside, Iowa Paranormal is going to be here, going live probably throughout the night, so I don't want to get in their way, but I'll be around. Take care.